okay as you can see it's pretty hot I'm up in my attic I'm gonna make this short and quick homeowners new homeowners especially uh, make sure that you uh, periodically check your furnaces uh, especially if they're up in the attic and hard to get to uh, because eventually what's going to happen especially when it starts getting hot the AC units are going to start running real hard and condensation and water is going to build up normally you have like a little pan and there's a little sensor and if enough water builds up in that pan I guess to keep from overflowing and flooding your house um, it has a sensor that knocks the AC unit off and what you're going to find is you're not going to show any power to your thermostat you're not going to be able to get your power to run and a lot of times what will happen what I did in my first home when it happened you call an HVAC uh, repairman they charge you a whole bunch of money to replace it or repair it so a uh, quick fix especially if you've got a nest unit and it's showing RH or RC wire not connected or not showing power go up in your attic or go to your AC heating unit and I want you to look for this you can see full of water and this is the little unit that determines so don't know if you can hear me or not but that's full of water and that's causing the sensor to say hey we need to cut off before some other problems occur and there's also a little spot where you can uh, periodically pour I've always been told bleach but I've heard recently that if you use uh, vinegar white vinegar it also works but I'm gonna show you that it's this little tube here so you pour it down in there and that keeps it clean out uh, cleaned out so maybe every six months pour some bleach down there or white vinegar now if that doesn't work there's also a spot on your AC unit outside where you can hook a shop vac up to a wet vac and suck whatever is clogging it up out I think with mine all I'm gonna have to do is uh, suck this out with a wet vac and then um, once that's cleared out I'm gonna pour some bleach down in the tube and make sure that it's cleaned out best thing to do especially if you have a nest unit don't like leave it completely off um, set it like at 76 or something like that or where the little green icon comes up so don't cut it all completely off because when you do you come in your AC unit's going to have to work that much harder to uh, catch up and cool the house down and if you're going up and down up and down it's basically going to uh, cause that condition now if any of you HVAC experts are out there and want to cool comment in the uh, comments down below and correct anything I said is wrong go ahead and do that I, I, I appreciate that but this is just from my experience I'm not a professional or anything but that's what's always worked for me okay all the water's been taken out it's about two gallons or even more plug the base back up and we have air so that's the problem and then being able to take that out myself, it actually cost the price of getting up in the attic and getting hot. Hope this helps you guys out.